Let's see what else is making news at this hour. The U.S. lawmakers voted to greenlight an agreement aimed at deepening economic relations with Taiwan. The move has already provoked an irritated response from Beijing. Washington does not have any official diplomatic relations with the self-governing Taiwan, which China claims as a part of its own territory. The U.S.-Taiwan initiative on 21st century trade streamlines customs checks, looks to improve regulatory procedures and also establish anti-corruption measures. It now heads from the House of Representatives to the Senate, the upper chamber of the U.S. Congress, where it is expected to be ratified. Washington and Taipei maintain unofficial ties through the de facto U.S. Embassy on the island. The American Institute in Taiwan signed the agreement earlier this month with Taipei Economic and Cultural Representative Office in the United States of America. Washington has remained a key ally and arms supplier to Taiwan despite switching diplomatic recognition from Taipei to Beijing in 1979. It is also the island's second largest trade partner. Beijing resists any hint of diplomatic relations between Taiwan and other governments. China earlier warned Washington ahead of the deal being inked by both the sides against any pact with connotations of sovereignty or an official nature. In April, Beijing conducted military drills simulating a blockade of the island in response to U.S. House Speaker and Taiwanese leader Tsai Ing-wen meeting in California. Taiwan has lived for decades under the constant threat of an invasion by China. Beijing claims Taiwan is a part of its territory to be seized one day, even by force, if required. However, many Taiwanese people consider their self-ruled island to be distinct, whether or not independence is ever officially declared. Beijing plans to control strategic choke points and also deny access to the foreign forces. A few months ago, Xi Jinping said that China must modernize its military to make it a great wall of steel. She also said that China must oppose pro-independence and sectionist activities and the interference of external forces. Now, China's military's Eastern Theater Command last year sent more than 1,700 aircraft into Taiwan's air defense identification zone. China has also continued to use gray zone tactics to test Taiwan's response. Now, gray zone tactics include sending drones, balloons and fishing boats to areas close to Taiwan.